Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. We learnt what are environment variables and how to set them programmatically. In today's video, let's learn how to set variables in repository in the GitHub UI and how to use secrets in the workflow. So we have a settings option here and under security, we have secrets and variables. Click on actions. We have two sections here, secrets and variables. Each section has environment and repository level secrets and variables. So environment secrets will look at this when we discuss about environments in GitHub. Uh, for now, let's focus on repository secrets and repository variables. Variables are non-sensitive information, whereas secrets are sensitive information that you do not want to disclose. So I'm going to create few variables and also secrets and we'll see how to access them inside a GitHub workflow. So let's start with variables. I clicked on new repository variable. So this will be available throughout this repository. You can use in any of the workflow in this repository to create a variable these are the rules the variables may contain only alphabetical alphanumeric characters so lowercase uppercase numbers and even underscore and it cannot start with the number it cannot start with github underscore prefix i've already mentioned this in our previous videos where we talked about environment variables github underscore is reserved for github environment variables the default environment variables so we cannot create variables that start with github underscore let's create a variable username username is not a sensitive value so it can be disclosed so I'll uh, put interview pro as the username I'll click on add variable so this will create a new variable called username and we can see the value interview pro we can uh, edit or delete this variable if we edit we can see the value and we see the updated value uh, let me just update it back to interview pro update variable if you want to delete it you can always delete it let's create a secret we had username and we might need a password so password uh, I'll say maybe test one two three so I'll click on add secret this will create a repository secret password the difference between secret and variables is that in variables you can see the value whereas in secrets you do not see the values so make sure that you store these secrets somewhere for future reference because even if you click on edit you don't see the value you can only update the value so now i'll say test one two three four five update secret Let's see how we can access these uh, variables and secrets in our workflow. I'll go back to code, click on GitHub workflows. I'll use the same workflow environment hyphen variable. I'll remove all these unnecessary steps. Now uh, I'll remove this as well. Now I'll say access uh, repository variable. So for variables, we use a keyword called was and the name of the variable is user name. Let me copy paste the step access uh, repository secret. Whether it's a repository secret or environment secret, it's secrets, secrets dot username. And uh, whether it's a repository variable or environment level variable, it's worse. Let's try to access this. Uh, let's try to run this workflow and see how it looks. Commit changes. Go to actions. Access repository variable. Let's see if the variable name is printed properly. And yes, it is. Let's see if the repository secret is printed. We don't see the value here because uh, we set secrets.username which doesn't exist. It has to be secrets.password. 
password. So I'll update this to password and commit changes. Now we should see the secret value. So we see stars here because secrets are sensitive information. We cannot disclose that information to the UI. So GitHub will mask the secret. We cannot see the secret in UI. So this is how you can declare uh, variables and secrets in GitHub in the settings tab and you can access them using wars and secrets keyword. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.